Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's been a pretty rough winter so far. Since living up north the weather has been so much warmer so I really underprepared this winter thinking it was going to be like the last. The temperature dropped to around 4 degrees some mornings and would only rise to about 11 degrees some days. This is really cold for Queensland standards which is more of a tropical climate. I had barely any warm clothes to get me through this winter so I did a big shop at my local thrift store and collected up some more items. I bought a few more jumpers as I only had one before this. I bought some more track pants, some pyjamas, a couple of dressing gowns and some more long sleeved woolly tops. For most of June and July, I spent rugged up at home under two to three layers of clothing. I didn't manage to find a beanie, gloves or a coat, so those are next winter's essentials. To help me get through the really cold days, I made a few winter essentials. One of them was this cough syrup home remedy which I concocted together to help soothe my throat whenever I felt a cold coming on. It's a honey spice cider remedy that's potent enough to calm and soothe a sore throat or cough. I don't often get sick, which I'm really thankful for. But when I do, I prefer to let my body fight the illness naturally as much as I can. As this winter was colder than usual, the air would get really cold at night and sometimes aggravate my airways, giving me a cough during the nights. To help with this, I would keep this homemade cough syrup next to my bed and take a spoonful whenever I needed it. It was instantly relieving and I found I could sleep better afterwards. I also use this remedy to help boost my immune system. For a few weeks during midwinter, we had a nasty cough going round our house. Every one of my housemates got it unfortunately, but I was lucky enough to avoid it and I owe it to this immune boosting elixir and the daily supplements I take, which are vitamin C, quercetin, zinc and vitamin D3. The recipe for this cough syrup is up on my website, simplynaturalnessa.com if you do want to make some too. I took this cough syrup about three times a day during the coldest times of our winter, in the morning, afternoon and before bed, and I found that's what really helped my throat. Another favourite winter essential of mine is homemade soup. My go-to this winter has been creamy pumpkin soup which I make from scratch using fresh pumpkins I buy from the markets and my homemade veggie stock which I make in batches from leftover vegetable scraps. I find the flavour is way more intense than when I buy store-bought stocks as I can simmer the stock for hours, giving it a much richer colour and flavour. Whenever I make soup, I whip up a batch of my homemade seed bread to go with it, as I find there's nothing more comforting than wrapping myself up in a blanket with a bowl of soup on my lap, a cup of warm tea in one hand, and a thick slice of freshly baked bread in the other to dip in the soup. I'm at complete peace in these moments. I've also started a new habit of making miso soup morning and night to help with immunity. It's great for removing radiation from the body and it's really easy to make. All I do is boil up some water in my saucepan, 
We do have a kettle, but it's made of plastic, so I avoid using it to prevent any microplastics from ending up in my water. Once the water begins to boil, I remove it from heat and let it cool to a warm temperature before I add organic miso paste. I don't add the paste while it's hot, otherwise it can kill the beneficial bacteria and enzymes in the fermented miso paste. I mix it through until it's completely dissolved in the water, and then I sip on it over the course of the morning or night. I really enjoy the taste as it reminds me of broth. And those are my winter essentials to help me keep warm during the cold, cold winter months. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead and that you take care of yourself during these cool months or warm, depending on where you are. I hope you stay healthy and strong. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sending you so, so much love and a huge hug from cold Australia.